Well, let's, uh, let's lighten the mood a little bit here, Orin. Let's talk about some, some fun stuff, some ribs, some locker room stories. You got anything funny you can share with us from back in the day? Oh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, one of the things that I felt was, uh, I thought was pretty damn amusing. Uh, if you know the characters or if you just look at it on face value, when we're in Pensacola, there was a guy named Rick McGraw, God bless him who has since passed, but, uh, came to work down there for, he was there probably four months and, uh, he had the bright idea that, uh, he wasn't going to get a hotel or an apartment. And, uh, so upon reflection of that, I went, well, where's the guy going to stay? Turned out he would go work the town, drive back to Pensacola, go to the 2001 or one of the, uh, watering holes that, uh, the boys, uh, frequented in those days. And then he would immediately go to the beach get out his lounge chair, set his cooler beside him, throw a towel out and sleep whatever was left of the night until the sun came up, which woke him up. He would walk about 50 feet to the bathhouse, take a shower, put on a coat of oil and good for the day. <laughs> yeah. One, one thing missing. What What's about that? home? You don't have a home. But, you know, I asked him about that. He said, hey, what's that sun's up? It's all gravy. So there you go. Yeah. How about washing the gear? I mean, that had to be a stinky motherfucker not too long after that, huh? You would be surprised at the guys that would get to the arena, wash out their tights in the sink, wring them out in a towel, put them on, good to go. I would suggest without the without a roof over your head, Washing your tights would be the last thing <laughs> on your schedule. Yeah, probably, probably. So that's just, it's just one of those weird things that really happened. And, and it's hard to believe that, that, it, you know, the guys actually did that, but my God, it's just, it's, it's incredible.